Good morning, warriors. Good morning, warriors. Okay, so what are we doing today? Do you know? And what subjects are we doing? What subjects? It's science. It's science. Okay, so are you unsure still what a turtle versus a tortoise is? Is this a tortoise or is it a turtle? Both have shells and scales, and one lives in water and one on land. So which is which? Okay, how do you know which is which? You can tell me before we even do don't shout at me. Before we even discuss what is what, can you tell me what is the difference that you know from what you've seen? Sunny. The difference is that the tortoise has feet and the Okay, and then we will talk all about it when we're done. Okay, so no talking during the video, you're just watching for now. Okay. Listen, listen, you have to be quiet Welcome to Vera Planet Channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise. Tortoises and turtles are both reptiles from the order of disputities, but in different classification families. The major difference between the two is that tortoises dwell on land, while turtles live in the water some or nearly all of the time. Before you continue this video, please hit subscribe button first so you know when we launch new videos. The bodies of tortoises and turtles are both shielded by a shell, the upper part of which is called carapace with the lower portion called a plaster. The carapace and the plaster are attached by a bridge, which means that though the head and limbs of a turtle or tortoise may be withdrawn from the shell, the whole body can never be totally detached from it. These reptiles are generally reclusive and shy in nature. The most important thing to remember about tortoises is that they are exclusively land creatures. They live in a variety of habitats, from deserts to wet tropical forests. Unlike most sea turtles, which take to land only when they are laying eggs, tortoises don't have much to do with water other than drinking it and occasionally bathing in it. However, not all land turtles are tortoises, thus box turtles and wood turtles have been called tortoises, though they are not considered tortoises today. But that's a matter for another day. Differences in Habitat Turtles live some or most of the time in the water, while tortoises live on land. Both turtles and tortoises lay eggs on the ground. The mother will dig a burrow and lay 2 to 12 eggs there. The future hatchlings will stay inside the egg for 90 to 120 days, incubating on their own. Once the incubation process is complete, they dig their way to the surface. Tortoise mothers provide protection to the hatchlings for about 80 days, after which they survive on their own, but turtle hatchlings are on their own from birth. Differences in physical characteristics A tortoise has a dome-shaped shell and short and sturdy feet. Its legs are bent instead of being straight and directly under the body. 
A turtle has a flat, streamlined shell and limbs that are quite similar to a tortoise's, but the turtle's feet are wet and have long claws which provide a good grip upon floating logs and help the reptile climb onto riverbanks. Some turtles might even have flippers, as is the case for the pig-nosed turtle. Tortoise versus Turtle shell The shells that cover the body of these reptiles are very important as they give researchers a fair idea of how these reptiles live. As turtles generally prefer to live in water, the shell of a turtle is flat and streamlined to aid in swimming and diving, while the shell of a tortoise, which lives on land, is rather large and dome-shaped to provide protection from predators. Also, the shell of a tortoise is quite heavy when compared to a turtle's shell, which is lighter to avoid sinking and to increase swimming speed. Differences in diet Most land-based tortoises are herbivores while turtles can be both herbivores and carnivores. Reproduction of turtles versus Tortoises The eggs from a turtle are somewhat soft and leather-like, similar to the eggs produced by other reptiles. Turtle hatchlings stay in their nest on their own for 90 to 120 days. Female tortoises dig burrows in which they lay anywhere from 2 to 12 Merci. eggs. Hatchlings take approximately 90 to 120 days to incubate within the ping-pong ball-sized eggs. Difference in lifespan tortoises can live about as long as humans, around 60 to 80 years, but some have been known to live for over 150 years. The longest verified tortoise lifespan was 188 years. In contrast, the common lifespan of a turtle is about 20 to 40 years, while sea turtles average 60 to 70 years, with about 40 to 50 years of that required to reach maturity. While it is sometimes reported that tortoises have lived for over 200 years in captivity, confirming the validity of these claims has been difficult. Most tortoises can live over 100 years in captivity, but living beyond that age requires carefully controlled, nurturing environments. As pets, both are kept as pets, though small turtles are more commonly owned. Tortoises are actually easier to care for, but more expensive to own. Both require owners who are willing and able to keep a very long commitment. As such, neither is recommended as a pet in many cases. Geographical distribution tortoises are found mostly in Asia and Africa, while turtles are found in Africa and America. Turtles are primarily found in tropical and semi-tropical climates, similar to those preferred by most lizards, as they require warmer external temperatures to maintain proper body warmth. However, some turtles are known for hibernating during colder weather, usually alongside riverbanks. Tortoises are not known for hibernating, as their habitats are almost entirely warm, though some species can greatly limit their metabolism during periods of little or no food and water. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, hit like button if you love this video and subscribe to support this channel. Okay, so we're going to go through everything first and while I'm busy then I'll ask questions, okay, to certain children. And if you have a question you're going to put up your hand when I say you have questions on, okay. So we're going to start with the tortoise first. Guys, a tortoise is land based. Okay, they live on land. Okay, they have a shell that protects them. The way they protect themselves is they put in their head and their feet into the shell, okay, to protect themselves. So if they feel threatened by anything or anyone, the first thing they do is they go into their shell, okay. Their skin is hard and scaly, okay, they've got elephant-like feet, okay, you all know what elephant feet are like? Yes. Okay, they're very scaly, okay, so that's what a tortoise is like, very hard skin, okay. They eat predominantly plants, okay, but if they do find meat and they are hungry, they will eat it, okay. So, if we look now at the different parts of a tortoise, we have the upper shell, which is called the carapace. We've got the scutes, which are the shell, those squares here, those, each of them are called that, okay. The eye, okay, this is the amen, okay, a plastron, which is the lower shell, so the underneath of the shell, okay, and then they've got toenails, okay, which are very, very hard and that they used to walk with, okay. Our tortoises are known as very slow, are they? Are they slow? Are they slow? For, like, all the time? Not really. Okay, why do you say so, Zach? They can literally just, uh, they can go across the 
So I'll tell you a story, and this is why I say they're not always slow. One day you were driving on Michelle Avenue. Okay, it's called it's a road called Michelle Avenue. And you were driving up from the robot, and the next minute you got into the road and there was this portage in the middle of the road. And you was going from one paving onto the road to the next paving. Okay, and it must have been someone's pet. Okay, and it crossed the road and all these cars were just driving and no one was stopping. So we stopped and I picked up this tortoise and it was heavy, it was big, okay? I picked it up and I put it in the back of the buggy, okay? And we drove to my mom. We got to my mom and I put the tortoise down. He literally walked so fast from the car to the grass because he was scared and he didn't know where he was because he was so used to walking on the road for a while and all those cars were passing him. But he was so scared, he walked so fast so he could get to some place that he felt safe, okay, and he kept putting in his head, so we left him, and he walked fast, okay, not very fast, like a cheetah fast, but he walked faster than we normally think a tortoise would walk, okay, so that's why I say it differs from time to time, what they feel, like Xavier said, what they feel, like we feel, one day we feel sad, one day we feel really happy, they also feel like that, one day they feel scared, one day they feel great, Okay, Michael, we'll get to questions, my angel. Okay. A group of tortoises are called the creep. Okay, you don't often see them in groups. Why? Because they like to roam by themselves. Okay, they're solitary. They like to be on their own. Okay, they walk on their own. They don't need their family members next to them. Okay, they will disappear from their family members and live their lives by themselves. Okay, you understand that? Okay, questions just not my angel. Okay, so we get different kinds of tortoises. We don't only get one kind, okay? We get different kinds of tortoises. We get an African sparrow tortoise, okay? Which is generally the one we often see, okay? We get a Herman's tortoise. We get a Russian tortoise. We even get a Greek tortoise. We get a leopard tortoise, which is also often we see that, okay, as pets. Okay, a red-footed tortoise, an Indian star tortoise, and an Aldebrad giant tortoise. Now that tortoise is for real a giant. Okay, you can actually sit on this tortoise and it will walk. That's how big it is. Yes, so it literally, this is the size. But look at the man to the size of the tortoise. Can you see that? You can literally sit on the tortoise and it will walk. Okay, very cool. Yes, Arnold. Um, I actually put that on, on the tortoise. I'm not quite sure if it was that one. It wasn't that one, but it, it did bring me around. Okay, did it not walk you around? No, it did. Did it? It did walk on. Alright, cool. Well, that's quite an experience to have. Hey, Michael, come here. How fast do you think a tortoise runs? It's not very fast. Like I said, it's not like cheetahs. They don't run. Okay, they walk, but they walk fast. Okay, they don't run. Okay. Because they've got that huge shell on the back of their back. I must now imagine if you climb onto my back, okay, which you can't now because of COVID, but if you climb onto my back and I'll walk on all fours, okay, can I run fast? Because you're heavy, you're on my back. They've got a big shell to carry every day. Okay, uh huh. Okay, when you're done, you can tell me. Okay. Yes, Yes. I think it would go as fast as a human can walk. As a human can walk, but some humans can walk very fast. Wait, 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 he's still talking. True, true. In Dalo? And I also forgot the protection of the shark, which also keeps them warm. It does keep them warm, which is correct. Savannah? It's, it's like a that big turtle that you have a piece of of a jelly bean and just put it on his back and then it's like nothing happens. 
They can live up to 250 years. Okay, imagine that is super, super long. Put your hands down, questions just one day. Okay, so that is the tortoise. We've now discussed the tortoise, we will now discuss the turtle, and afterwards we'll see which is which. Okay, now we discuss the turtle. Okay, turtles are not social creatures. Okay, but I disagree. And why I disagree is because Teacher Nicole is a scuba diver and I go diving. And I myself, in Egypt, okay, had a turtle swim right next to me. Yes, I'm not allowed to touch it, okay, because it is protective stuff and you can't touch stuff under the sea, okay. But it swam right next to me. Now for me, yes, it's not social, it's not coming to me to kiss me, okay, but it came close to me, which makes me believe that depending on how you are as a person towards them, they'll swim next to you, okay? So we've seen it a few times. They do come in and out, okay? So they do swim in and they swim out as fast as they come in. But the fact that it swam next to me gave me the idea that it can possibly be social if it wants to, okay? So they love to also be on their own, just like tortoises on land, Okay, turtles like to be on their own in the sea, okay, but this is what's cool about a turtle. A turtle lives on land and in the sea, okay, majority of the time in the sea, but the reason, the reason, I'll tell you now, the reason that it lives on land as well is when mommy lays its eggs, we'll go through the life cycle of a turtle now, when mommy lays her eggs, she doesn't lay her eggs in water, okay. She climbs out of the ocean and she walks with her flippers, okay, and she walks, takes her long time, walks to where she is comfortable, okay. She takes her flippers and she starts digging through the sand, like this, okay, all of you do this. Okay, what she does, she opens up the sand like she's making a burrow like the rabbits, okay, and she makes a huge hole, and you would not believe how deep this hole is. Okay, that she digs what she does for her babies, just like mommies do for you guys. Okay, the same. They dig and dig and dig and then she lays her eggs. Okay, but she's on land for a while before she lays those eggs. And she lays her eggs and she covers it up with her flippers again and she goes back into the ocean. Okay, the eggs are left there between, you saw in the video, between 90 and 120 days before they hatch. Okay. When those babies hatch, they make their way through the sand and onto the top of the sand and they start making their way to the ocean. Okay, mommy sometimes is not there. Okay, and they get to the ocean and they swim away into the ocean. Okay, now imagine how long it takes, how small they are, okay, when they're born, they're about this big. Okay, and they've got to make their way. So now think about. Um, we teach a and ask tap roots, okay? From the tap to here is where the eggs are to the ocean. They have to go and make their way through the sand from there all the way here to the ocean. And once they hit the ocean, they do their own thing. I just told you now that turtles like to be on the ocean. So mommy doesn't have to look after them like our mommies have to look after us. Okay, right. So, 
Sea turtles travel from the ocean to lay eggs to the beaches, okay? And they usually, sea turtles lay around 110 eggs. That's a lot, right? So that's 110 turtles that get born. Some of them don't make it to the ocean. Why? Because there's birds and the birds. What are those, what are those birds called? Do you remember? Seagulls. Okay. Seagulls go, they're making their way through the sand and seagulls come down. Ooh, and they pick up the turtle and off it goes and eats the turtle while the rest of them are making their way to the ocean. Okay. Right. Now let's have a look at the parts of a turtle compared to the parts of a tortoise. Okay, the turtle has a vertebral scute, just like ours, okay? And they have an eye, they have a beak, but their snout is far more pointier, okay, than a tortoise. They have a mouth. Now remember, they do not have teeth. They have a tongue, but they've got no teeth. Okay. I don't know why I need teeth. I will get there. What do they eat? I will get there. Okay, they have a tamponer that's underneath the eye, okay? Underneath the eye here, that's where it comes in and out and it shows them that they're breathing, okay? So it's not like a fish that they've got what? What is that called? Gills. Gills, okay. They've got claws with toenails. Those claws are called flippers as well, okay? They have a plastron as well underneath. They've got a protective shell underneath. Okay, they've got a bridge, so they bridge onto, onto that shell on the top, that top shell we spoke about. Okay, it goes on top so the water can flow over while they are swimming. Okay, and they also have a tail just like a tortoise. So there's a load of similarities, aren't there? Yeah. They are, but they are very, very different also. Okay, so let's look at life cycle of a turtle. Okay, I put these pictures on top here for a reason. Save our ocean. Why do I say that, Kyan? Why do I say we must save the ocean? So, and animals, okay, so animals don't get hurt. So animals don't get hurt. And Katarina, why would they get hurt in the ocean? By what? By like themselves. Restaurants have got biodegradable straws or paper straws, okay? Because people don't listen and they litter. Don't we teach you about litter every day? Yes. Okay. A life cycle of a turtle. We just discussed it. Okay. Mommy turtle goes out into the beach. She lays her eggs. The eggs hatch. Okay. They become juvenile. They make their way to the ocean. They grow and become adults. What do turtles eat? Actually, I know. If they're really hungry they and they see meat, they will eat it, but they usually they eat plants. Okay, so turtles are a little bit different to tortoises. Tortoises live on yeah. land, but they also live off what? They live off majority plants, is it? And they can eat meat if they want to, if they find it. Okay? But turtles live off meat. And what is that meat? Okay, but they also can eat plants, but they prefer to have meat. Okay. Just my mother. Okay, turtles are omnivores. They eat small fish, mussels, plants, and algae. Okay, so we just discussed that. Okay, they eat meat, but they can eat plants as well. So they are omnivores. What are omnivores? So glad. Remember. Okay, turtles are not silent creatures. Did you know that? Under the ocean, they are not silent. Why? Anyone? Has anyone heard a turtle under the ocean? So, another experience.
experience of mine, it wasn't my experience because I believe you and my God, but the family did. Okay? Would you believe that under the ocean a turtle sounds like a motor vehicle? What's a vehicle? What's a vehicle? Okay. A motor, electrical motor. Okay, anything. A car. Yes. Okay. It sounds like a motor, electrical motor. Okay. It swims next to you and you wouldn't believe what sound this turtle makes. Now I believe that they were silent until I read it for myself under the ocean. Okay. And would you believe where does a sea turtle sleep? Ava. Where do you think the sea turtle sleeps? Is your name Ava? Ava, where does the sea turtle sleep? Where in the sea? Turtles never sleep. So for what our 2018, I was 27. Okay? I believe that 27 years old that turtles do not sleep. They swim and sleep swimming. That's what I believe. Okay. I learned at 27 years old for the first time when my husband came up from the sea at night time. Okay, he's when they sleep. He showed me a video. Mm -hmm. He showed me a video of a turtle, pretend this is a rock, of a turtle literally laying on the rock, sleeping. Didn't move. It was just laying there. It wasn't swimming. It was just laying. Okay. And I was amazed. It's something that I had learned. Okay. I didn't think they slept. Okay, on anywhere. I just thought they carried on swimming and slept with eyes open. Okay, but I learned something that day. Okay, did or any of you know that they slept like that, like the humans? No. Okay, I, I didn't. I honestly didn't know that. I didn't. Okay, and I was quite surprised. Uh huh. They, they can't sleep in, in, in shallow water because stingrays or sharks. They can't sleep. Well, technically in an ocean, do we have any shallow water other than the shoreline? Anyone? Do we have shallow water in the ocean besides the shoreline? No. That's deep. Okay, you can go very deep. Okay, 22, 40 meters deep. We can also find okay. corollas with the head of water. Yes, so that's when you go lower than 20 meters. Okay, teachers only been up to 22 meters under the ocean. Okay, my husband and the rest of the family go up to 40 meters. That's when it gets dark and you need a torch. Okay, that's not something I want to do. Okay, I want to see from the sun. Okay, okay, let's carry on. Right, okay, so now we know. Okay, the last cycle. So I have a story to read you that puts us in the head. I'm going to read you the story and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, so you need to listen to the story, right? Just now, my angel. Okay, so the tortoise and the hare. Once there was a strong young hare who bragged about how fast he could run. The wise tortoise thought. He was a show-off, so he asked the hare for a race. The hare thought he would easily beat the tortoise. All of the animals gathered at the finish line to see who would win. As soon as the race started, the hare dashed the head. After a little while, he stopped for a rest. You are so slow, he 
You will never win, he said to the tortoise. The hare leaned against the tree. That tortoise will never be free, he laughed to himself. The hare closed his eyes and soon he was asleep. The tortoise walked slowly past the hare. He didn't give up until he got to the end of the race. The animals cheered as they saw the tortoise. Tortoise, you are the winner! They shouted happily. They had heard the cheering woke up. He ran as fast as he could towards the finish line, but it was too late. The tortoise had already crossed the line. It's not fair, he said. We had to do the race again. But the time, no one listened to the head. What did you learn from that story? Yeah, Put up your hand. What did you learn from that story? Yeah. Think about it for five minutes. Uh -huh. Think about it for five minutes. Judge people who can take a break because you never know if someone can make it. Good. That's right. Make a show. Make a show. Good. 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 Discussing the story now, my boy. Right. And um, that's all. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Okay. You guys are very, very smart. Okay. All those things, I'm very, very proud of you. Okay. Because I know that you guys do that every day with your friends. Hey. Don't you? Trust your friends. So keep trying even though things can go bad. Okay. So never give up in class, at home, outside all the time. Okay. Yes? Caleb? You must always cheer people up when they feel bad. Take the mask off and then you You must always cheer people up when they feel bad. You must always cheer people up when they feel bad. Um, Z. Once, once I was trying to do a wheelie on my bike and I practiced for a whole month and then I started to become better and better. So what you're saying is practice makes perfect. Yeah. Okay. Can you keep a tortoise as a pet? Yes. Yes. You said no. Me. I, why? Me. I didn't know. Okay. But, but why? Wait, wait. Why did you say no? What's your reason for saying no? It's okay to say no, but why? Why if they don't have money to buy the food? Okay, that's a good point. Tristan? He's supposed to live in the wild. He's supposed to live in the wild. Abigail. They're supposed to be alone. They're supposed to be alone. Okay, Xavier? He said I actually tortoises. Don't trust me, tortoises can survive eight months without food. 
is the teacher's done in case we need to have more. Okay, so then, but now on Friday, when we do art, because we do art on Friday. Friday, there is 3P turtle paper craft. So you cut this out and you'll see on Friday what we do. Okay, then we have this one that I'm super excited about. Okay, we paint with bubble wrap to make the scales of the turtles. Okay, and then we have this beautiful art that I'm we color in. Okay. Okay. okay, so that's for Friday. Friday. So today's worksheet, you're getting two worksheets that look as follows. Okay. Parts of a turtle which we discussed that goes with this picture. Okay, so we have the certain definitions which we're going to cut and stick in the book. And then these ones we cut in small and we're going to put them where they belong. But this is going to stay up so you'll be able to do that. Okay, then we have a label of what? The tortoise. The tortoise, same thing. We're going to cut these out and stick them in the block. So we're going to color in our tortoise and our... Turtle. Okay. So, what is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Ava. At the at the same place. Good. Okay. Um, some turtles. So how do the turtles come up? How do what? they come up? What do you mean come up where? Well, mm. when the mother gives a big hole. Okay. How do they rise up? Come okay. Up? So when obviously the the mommy digs a big hole, right? She digs a deep hole. Okay. Probably the same as <coughs> me. Okay. And when she gets to the bottom, she lays her eggs and then she puts the sand over and she goes back to the ocean, okay? When the babies come up, they hatch and they become juveniles. When they become the juveniles, which is when they grow to their normal baby size, okay? They push through with their, with their flippers, okay? And it takes them a long time, but they get there finally. And as soon as they reach the surface, they make their way to the ocean, okay? But I feel like I feel like I'm just going to put them in the sand in the ocean and then I'm going to Oh my gosh, I made you feel like you want to go to the ocean. I'm sorry. Sammy? My question is, how do tortoises go in their shells? Because I feel like tortoises have to squish in or like they're comfortable in their shells. So their head comes forward and back. So take your head now, like this, so it's up nice and straight. Okay, now go forward like this for your head. Forward, make your head go forward and then go back. And forward. And then, that's what tortoises do. They go forward, when they're out, with their, and as soon as they get scared, they go back. So, just like that, inside their shell. Okay, and when they go into their shell, it's just the shell. Nothing stays out. They go in. Okay, yes. Do we have to do both of them, or do we have to pick which one we have to do both. Okay, Katarina? How do tortoises eat parents if they don't have 
down and tea. So now remember that eat predominantly like the ones that are in our garden. We put lettuce or cabbage, okay? And their jaws are so strong, they're able to chew through it, okay? Even if it's carrots, but now you're not gonna give them a whole carrot like you give a horse. Okay, you're gonna obviously have to shred it, okay? Yes, Abigail. Why? Because it wants to be, and I was going to see if they go sweet to me. Oh, because she's so tiny. She's so sweet. Yes, Ingalo. I'll prefer two of them or the pet as a pet. You can have a tweet or the pet. Do they dig to bedrock? Say again. Do they dig to bedrock? Take your mask off. I'm going to have one. Do they dig to bedrock? To bedrock? Yeah. Bedrock. No, they dig until they think they're further enough. It's only sand. Okay. Taban? Does this mean that you think it's because tortoises have, have, have like feet, but, but, but turtles have, have fins? Yes, well done. Uh, Z. Which one is um, the Turtle is on the turtle side and the tortoise is on the tortoise side. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm going to do one and I'm gonna stick it on here so you can see what's going on. Okay, then I'm done. Yes. Why can't you do the one here? Because you have to do both because you're going to like both, so then you need to see turtle versus tortoise. Okay. Any other questions before we go and finish our work? Yes, Kia. How do baby tortoises eat? Yeah, they eat the leaves from the time they come out. Okay. How do tortoises breathe? And turtles. Do you know that? Okay, and in between those scales is also a little bit of wet. So it's got a little bit of, um, how can I call it? Um, no, wait. Yeah, it's got, it's got moisture. That's the word, moisture. So it slithers out and slithers back yeah. in. Okay, so easy in and out. Okay. Yes. Okay, last few questions. Yes. Why does it grow big? Because it's a different breed. Okay, like we have different breeds of dogs. We've got small dogs and big dogs. We've got small tortoises and big tortoises. Okay. Different breeds. And they do, yes, because they also have to get away from things that scare them, eh? Hey? Say yeah. Which one do you think? 
up you're going to go and stick these in your book and do them and thank you so much for joining me for science today okay okay, okay. you guys can go Bye.